Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Demon Beast Canyon. This is the first Abyssal Dungeon that you ever run into in Lost Ark. The minimum item level is 340, and there are a few minor mechanics you need to know in order to pass this. Unless you have a carry, of course. Now, in these Abyssal Dungeon guides, I will not go over any minor sections, so I'll be about bosses unless there is something very important that you need to know. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first boss you run into is Corrupted Vezuela. They look like a giant blob, and they can pack quite a punch if you're a low enough item level. The trick here is to avoid all the massive AoEs that they can drop, but thankfully they're slow enough to where you can react to them pretty easily. The only one of these you really need to worry about is whenever he launches into the air and then creates a small AoE and then an outer AoE. For this move you'll want to dodge to the outside of the area and then get on the inside. The main mechanic in this boss room is a targeted bloody puddle. If you are the one who has a target over their head, you'll want to position yourself on the edge of the battlefield so that the bloody puddle that drops does not cover too much of it because it will deal damage over time. The last thing you want to do is drop it right in the middle where it can be a real hindrance to your team. If things get too crowded, you can also counter his rollout attack, which will happen when he glows blue, and you just hit him with a simple counterattack on the startup animation. This will cancel all the bloody puddles and will give you a nice clean battlefield to fight with. These days, most groups have a high enough item level to where you don't really have to worry about this too much, but there's the mechanics if you need them. The second fight is against Hideous Scarkrill, and this one's pretty easy as well. The main general mechanic you want to watch out for is this glowing ring around you. If you end up with a ring around you, just stay away from your teammates or they will be damaged. Likewise, if you're around other teammates that have the ring, you will be damaged if you're inside it. If you're fast enough, you don't have to worry about any special mechanics. However, if you aren't fast enough, there will be an orb phase. Whenever this happens, Hideous Scarcrow will turn the screen a little bit darker and then these four orbs will spawn on each cardinal direction of the battlefield. What you'll need to do is stand at the orbs where Scarcrow will then teleport to you and try to swipe. Whenever he does this, the orb explodes in an AoE that you'll need to dodge. If you do this correctly, the explosion from the orb will hit Scarcrow right in the face and he'll be staggered for a little bit. Do this for all four orbs and you will clear this phase. Other than that, it's as simple as dodging his highly telegraphed area of effects and you should be good for both of these fights. Again, nowadays players are so high leveled that sometimes you'll just get carried through these phases. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And let me know down below if you like these sort of quick abyssal dungeon guides where I only explain the main mechanics and the ones that you should be worried about. If not, then let me know if you'd like to see some more detail about the general patterns of the bosses. But I've been OSK. Y'all have a great day. Click the card at the top right, and I'll see you later.